Where did they come from? It wasn't up there. It wasn't down here. Maybe they came in from the south and then killed that and then came over. <sighs> That's all wind because it's nighttime. Oh, look, it seems so easy. It wasn't ever getting destroyed. He sounds like the Godfather in this impression. Ugh. A lot of cobalt, at least. Apparently the creatures ate some cobalt on the way over and let me have some, so that's good. Got some wind power now. There's a few sparse turrets just to try to do some basic defense of the area. Just wrapping a power line around. Base is under attack. What? Oh my gosh, the swarming thing? Oh, that's not good. Uh, shoot, I can't hit it through the wall. I've boxed myself in. I gotta sell a section of wall to get out there. Okay, it died. Wow, running into one of those right at the beginning. What the heck? Like I said, this feels like they kicked it up a notch. That's like running into a Protoss carrier at two minutes. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. All right, the Our reason we're here is full. Build more storage facilities. All right, there's some rare element mines. Those things take a ton of power, though. How much? Fifty per second per mine. Okay, we're here, yeah. Uh, radar tower would be good. Your turn, shot. Tornado. Oh, it's a tornado. No, tornado near the player? All right, I'm leaving home. We're, we're, we're going on an adventure. I wonder if the tornado hurts enemies, if I go drop it on them. We can work together. The tornado is destroying everything in its path. Let's move out of its way and repair Where is what it? we can. Where is it? Well, my wind power is out the... Oh, wait, it just appeared on the map. It's down there now. It is totally damaging enemies. It is killing them. <laughs> oh, chat, we performed a combo attack. All right, I'm just going to leave that with you guys. The tornado is finally gone. Oh wait, wait! I need to do those at a higher level. This location is very rich in resources. We can also set up additional carbonium and ironium factories. Remember that we don't have to build everything at once. We can freely rip jump between outposts and return here later if we need to expand our mining operations. All right. 
Okay, so we've got a basic couple of mining outposts. Um, one thing we learned before is that while we're not on this map, although income will still continue, construction will not. So we're going to wait until that construction finishes before we rift jump. We could also... Oh, interesting. Something else is different, chat. So, if I'm building something, let's say this car Carbonium um, mine. If I hit Alt, it changes from level 1 or max level when you build it. So you don't have to build it then upgrade it, you could just build it to max level. It used to be you hold Alt to do that. Now Alt is a toggle. So you just hit Alt one time and then build, and or hit it again to turn it off. Whereas before, you were you had to hold the key the entire time. I think the main way that's going to come into play is with walls. Because when you were trying to build a long line of walls at max lo level, it was a little... Uh, it was a little tricky. Like, you couldn't do it while moving because of the button combination it required. Finally gone to the second tornado, yeah. She counts as well as Gabe. Okay. All right, so let's go back to HQ. And because we made an outpost, from what I understand about the expansion, we should be seeing something about that pretty soon. You don't have to load screen often in this game, but when you do load screen, it does often take a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. We can upgrade the armories, apparently. That does not cost us much. Um, we can upgrade that, but it costs a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else can we do right now? Level 2 walls is a really big thing. More power. There's so many things I want. More storage is important. Anything new here? Hazenite handling research station, alien floor cultivation. Alien floor cultivation used to be the far left column, so I'm there's something new there. Muck, have you heard of X4 Foundations game? No, not familiar with it. Nope, 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 nope. Ashley, I've been tracking strange behavior within Galatea's asteroid belt. This is new. One of the smaller objects that have been orbiting the planet has recently changed its Chad, it's new! What's strange about that? Galatea is a relatively young planet and has lots of moons and smaller rocks in its orbit. I have not detected any collisions in this object's vicinity or any other force that could affect its movement. It is also heading straight for our headquarters. It should be flying over our position at any moment now. Okay, you've got my attention. Let's track this meteor and see where it lands. There it goes! Uh, your turn, chat. Ironium storage is full. Good. The meteorite has landed near our position. I am detecting increased radiation in a very Why is my power gone? Spectrum. That was not a typical rock. I'm intrigued. Ah, uh, that's why. 
Let's get to that impact location as soon as possible. Okay, so, uh, DLC is go down there right now. Okie dokie. New content. Let's see what we can find. Suddenly I'm holding four bioscanner turrets? I guess, I don't know, as something upgrades, I can hold- look at- look at all the research I'm getting now. I do love these bioscanner turrets. Way- way better than holding the beam myself. <laughs> I'm thinking of like the- <laughs> the- the- the stereotype of like the- the dad working on the car. While the kid holds the flashlight, the dad's just like screaming the whole time and teaching the kid new cuss words. Giving half my chat PTSD. The meteorite created a vast crater. The ground has a strange blue glow in this place. Is this Cherengoff radiation? That's possible. I am receiving conflicting readings. Ashley, please move closer to the center of the crater and use the geo scanner to gather more data from the debris. Uh, <laughs> just a second, Mr. Riggs. Okay, is this enough? Affirmative, Ashley. The remains of this meteorite are emitting huge amounts of dark energy waves. They are off the charts. That's very odd. What can you tell me about the impactor's composition? It was too small to contain enough dark matter to cause such emissions. It was almost completely obliterated when it hit the ground. The dust that remains is primarily composed of heavy metal elements. Era. Some of the readings are changing. How is that possible? My apparatus is broken, or the sample is unstable. It appears as if some of the heavier atoms are quickly decaying into lighter ones, while others are fusing into heavier elements. That's nonsense. Such behavior is not possible. That would cause a giant fusion explosion. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> in a stable state. It just immediately blows out. End of game. However, we still cannot explain the dark energy emissions from this debris. That's true. We also can't explain why this meteor decided to land right next to our base. That's too odd to be a coincidence. Are there any more objects in Galatea's orbit with similar composition? Yes. There is a number of similar objects orbiting the planet. They have been here since before we arrived. They have different composition than most of the planet's surface. Most of the planet's surface? Is there an area on the planet with similar composition as those meteors? Yes. Our initial planetary scans have mapped a large valley that looks like an ancient impact crater on one of the continents. Its resonance spectrum indicated large quantities of heavy metals. This area does not seem to contain any resources that are required to construct the rift station, so it was not marked as important. The meteor that landed here must be a fragment of some larger object that collided with Galatea a long time ago, and as a result, created that crater. Mr. Riggs, can you chart rift jump coordinates to that metallic valley? Affirmative, Ashley. Okay, let's go there as soon as possible. Ashley. If we want to gather better research data on that expedition, then we should first download the schematics for a research station. 
It will allow us to conduct on-site analysis. <laughs> It'll be done in two seconds. If necessary. Okay, let's hold off the jump until we have that ready. Available for construction. Research station schematics download completed. Roger that, Mr. Riggs. We can now make the jump to the Metallic Valley as soon as we're ready. Whoa. What happened? Oh, is this... Oh, judging by the damage, this is from the earthquake. Or a tornado? Oh, they're about to attack from the east. A building has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. Wait, what's getting attacked? Oh, I guess the portal I left down there. Oh, we can try out the AoE upgrade tool. We just, uh... Oh, look at the highlight. You can see what's going to get upgraded. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, I like that. So we are about to get attacked. I think it'll hit this base. It might hit this little mining outpost over here, maybe. A new technology has been developed. Oh, shoot. I just realized I could do this. <laughs> Upgrade all the walls. Warning. It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without it. Oh, there goes all our carbonium. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta deal with this attack, and then I think I can go start the DLC mission. Don't I have anything? Research There's complete. the new walls, research station, anti corrosive floor. Um. <laughs> Flamer towers, plasma. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, this is new. Lightning tower? It's an upgrade from the radar dish? Wait, no. Wait, no, now it's not there. Where did it go? <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, this research will allow the Rift Breaker to construct lightning towers. These quickly drain all the free electrons from their surroundings and direct a targeted electric arc that does high voltage shock to the enemy. Oh, we gotta try that out. Anything else I don't recognize? Orbital laser. Allows the Rift Breaker to craft a mecha suit module that allows the pilot to coordinate an orbital strike with a barrage of artillery shells on any target within sight. Iron Man? Your turn, champ. Knowing you guys, you're gonna take all my ammo, but at the moment, all I've got is energy-based towers and flamethrowers, so you'll shut down the flamethrowers. Died. I'm stuck in the building menu. An enemy swarm is approaching our base. Brace for combat. That hurt. Thunderstorm lurking. All right, Mayor. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. This space is okay. That little one up there, I'm worried about. Unlock. 
Ow. Dang, are they all well? Oh my gosh, that lightning flash. One of our buildings has been destroyed. A portal has been destroyed. Carbonium storage is full. Crap. Build more storage. Oh, there's a gravity mine I put down a long time ago. Ooh, I'm almost dead. All right, I'm selling everything out there that I can, which actually was completely pointless because my my cash reserves are full, or my material storage is full, so that did nothing. Oh my God, there's so many! Did y'all? No, y'all voted thunderstorm. I was about to ask if y'all voted stronger attack, because this is really crazy. One of our walls has been destroyed. Whoa. There's artillery bugs to the north. Oh my god. Is under attack. Oh, the power got cut. I forgot to give that base backup power. No. I think we can still save the base though. One of our walls has been destroyed. What? Tower destroyed. One of our this was an, a not strengthened attack? attack? A building has been destroyed. Oh, the geothermal got destroyed. No. Also, all of the ammo storages and the tower ammo factories are gone. Oh my god. What in the heck? A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Okay, okay, that's fine. This power line got cut. So there needs to be reserve power in here. Doesn't have to be much, just enough to last through a fight. He's ignoring us. Hang on a second. Ah, unlock research renewable energy level two. Thank you. Sorry, it was ta it was taking like all of my focus to stay alive in that. <laughs> it was taking everything I had. That reminds me, uh, renewable energy level two. Geothermal uh, got destroyed during that. 
Oh, I can't I can't even make a level two geothermal. It requires titanium. Okay. I have it though. Wait, does renewable energy level two also include solar and wind? I bet it does. I'll need to check in a second. Research completed. Yes, it, it's geothermal, wind, and solar. Oh, can't blame him after the many earthquakes, ion stars, and other veins. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I just realized there's no teleporter down here. Oh, and the, the ammo factories and the ammo storage, we've got zero. I forgot. We can't construct any more buildings of this type. What does putting down the metal floor do? You move faster on the metal floor. That's the main thing. So, I want to upgrade this stuff, but it takes a lot of, uh... A lot of, uh, carbonium. We are hurting right now. Uh, it looks like the sun's coming up, so the solar should help out right now. Our power is really low. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Um, yeah, that is one of the things I would like to upgrade, but... Role playing the core from Total Annihilation. I'm not sure how many other people got that joke. <laughs> I got it, though. I understood. Okay, solar is back online. Always enjoy seeing your content, Mutlut Love. Thank you, Taya. Muckle and Douglas about to be Reginald Esquire the fourth. This is Johnson Festivals the third one because you tie back to the lamp. Hope you enjoy all saying today. It's on the way. Crank up the speakers. Don't touch the speakers. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Did you ever StarCraft 2? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I I was much more of, like, I, I was much more of an enjoyer of the single-player campaign than I was the, you know, the multiplayer aspect of it. But I enjoyed uh, playing the single-player campaign all the way up to Brutal. And uh, I enjoyed watching the pros plays. Like, I was a Zerg fan, so I enjoyed watching any pro that played Zerg. Like, I would watch any 1v1 that was Zerg versus someone, and I would cheer on the Zerg. That's That was me. Mm, let's see, you guys. The meteor shower is random. That could hit anywhere. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Lightning Tower Level 1 is available, chat. Oh no, it requires palladium. I can't I can't make it right now. I researched it to try the new thing and I can't do it. These rocks can do some serious damage. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. There's no circle on the map. Maybe it just hits near me. The main thing I'm scared of dying during this type of thing, like if this happens during an attack, it's absolutely awful. But if this happens on its own, the only thing I fear dying is the uh, power lines because they're so fragile. And it really messes you up when those